title of my speech is you heard was Friends, Romans, and Countrymen. And I think we know the rest of that sentence. And I needed that about 10 years ago. I needed somebody to lend me their ears. I had to go to jury duty. How many of you have gone to jury duty? Oh, yeah. I go to everybody. Me too. I've been, no problem. I go to jury duty there in Glendale. I've been there before. Everything was wonderful. I could hear, I was, I think it's an alternate. I could hear, you know, the attorney over here. I could hear the policeman up here. Everything was wonderful. And so we're going through. About half an hour later, the judge turns to us and she says, Now I want you to wrap it up and do it and do it and do it. What? What's her problem? She said, She said, And be sure you're not going to do it. Oh, they're not trying to buy that. Look at the other jurors. And they didn't seem to have a problem. They're nodding and doing all of this sort of like, what's all about? Well, fortunately, it got adjudicated real quick, and I got to leave. Thank gosh, I didn't have, I didn't know what she said. On the way out, I asked one of the jurors, I said, what, do, do you have a problem hearing that judge? I said, no. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. I went to my audiologist that same day and said, can you just check this out? I think we got a little problem marking on here. So she did, and she came back in the room, and she said, Barbara! And I said, what? And she said, oh, you can hear me. And I said, yeah. She said, boy, your test was really bad. You were going to park it for some hearing aids. And I thought, oh, give me a break. My mother and dad, my mother had the hearing aids. Dad wouldn't wear them. But she hated them. I thought, and they're so expensive. I thought, I'm not going to do that. So I said, I've been getting by fine. A lot of, huh? What? What'd you say? You know, a lot of that. But at home, the TV, I just jacked that sucker up. No problem there. You know, Bird didn't mind. Everything was wonderful. So I said, okay, forget that. But then I go up to my son's place up there outside of Sacramento for Christmas that year. And they like to watch this movie, Christmas Carol. No, not Christmas Carol. White Christmas. They like to watch that every year. And so they're watching it, and the whole family's there, everything. And I said, could you just up a little bit? They said, uh, sure, and they did. Well, who could tell they did? I couldn't. <laughs> Sounded the same to me. Just doesn't sound good at all. But I knew the movie. I'd seen it a half a dozen times, so I knew where to laugh and where to because uh, But when I got home, I thought, this is not too good. Because it's a movie I haven't seen. I thought I'd do something else. So I went over to Best Buy. I thought, I've got to get some of those. I've seen some ads for these hearing things that you can hear stuff with. So I went in there. I got this box. I'm at the checkout line. I look at it and read the small print. On the small print, it said either you could hear the TV or I could. But they're both of us at the same time. Well, what good is that? You know, I want to laugh when you laugh. I want to cry when you cry. I want to hear it at the same time you hear. I took that sucker back and said, well, heck with that. I thought, well, I'm in trouble. But then I saw an ad, a little magazine I get, for a thing called TV Ears. Stupid name. But I saw that ad, and I thought, well, I'm going to give that a try, because it, it showed a man and a woman. <laughs> ad was in last month's Reader Digest, by the way, in case you're still interested. Man and woman sitting there eating popcorn having a wonderful time watching television, and it said something about, TV years saved our marriage. <laughs> I, well, it couldn't have saved mine, but I didn't have that problem then. <laughs> so, I thought I'd give it a try, so I did. I ordered that sucker, and it came. And I thought, well, that's a hundred bucks or so. So if it works, it'd be good, but it probably won't. Probably one of these silly things that just doesn't work. So I ordered it. And it came, and the audiologist said, yeah, you've got three months to try it out before I'll cash this check. And I, three months? I think, this, I think this thing's pretty good. I said, okay, I'll give it a try. So I plugged that thing into the TV, and I opened up the box. Better than I can open it up today. I just found this box before I came. Or maybe it's this one. You can open a Tammy, you're better at this. <laughs> anyway, I bought this thing, and I put it on, and listened to it, played with it a little bit, and 
and uh, the next day I called her and I said, you cash that sucker. It was the greatest thing since Bullock. Yeah, thank you. And it's, yeah, there it is. And it's just this funny little thing. <laughs> thank you. This funny little thing looks like this. Now the thing over there at Best Buy, you look like a B-17 pilot. <laughs> you had a big old thing and coming across your head this way. And this little thing, you just put it on like this. I put these on it. They didn't have it, but I like to get up and go in the kitchen. You know, get something to eat or something. But here it was, and I tried this thing out. You don't wear a hearing aid when you, you do it. And it was great. I could adjust that volume, whatever I wanted to. And you could hear it at your volume at the same time. I thought, this is fantastic. And when my cousin comes from California, or from uh, Chicago, he likes to go to bed at 9 o'clock. Well, I want to stay for the 10 o'clock show, 11 o'clock news, and I got a small house. And he was always like, oh, would you turn down the TV a little? Sure, well, finally, I'm up like this, you know. But when I had these, I could turn the TV audio off, and I could still hear it. I could still hear it. It, they're just fantastic. So anyway, I want to tell you all, you'd think I was a shill for the company, but I'm not. Yeah. I don't own any stock, I wish I did, but it's a great uh, product, it really is. And I wanted to give you this information speech um, uh, before Mother's Day, so you could go out and give your mother <laughs> one of these things. But I got sick, couldn't give it. Then I wanted to give it to you before Father's Day. <laughs> that blew up, couldn't do that. So Christmas somewhere. <laughs> if, any of, if any of your relatives are hard of hearing, now it doesn't help with some hearing, but if they're just hard of hearing from old age, like some people I know, it's a wonderful thing. It really is. It's at TV Ears. Look it up. Google it, tvears.com, and check it out because anybody you recommend this to is just going to love you forever. And you're going to go to your friend's house or your parent's house or somebody's house that has it, and say, Mom, Dad, Uncle Fred, lend me your TV ears. <laughs> <laughs>